quickly and made a nice short tackle. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. Third and long. Now Breeze. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. First down, Saints. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Breeze now to throw. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Intended for Alvin Kamara. Incomplete. It's now second and 10. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. From the gun, it's Breeze. That's caught, it's Thomas. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The field goal unit on the sideline. They're going to go with one second left. A final shot before half for Breeze. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. On the return, Deontay Harris. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. On second and a couple. Breeze. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, New Orleans. Shotgun now for Breeze. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. That'll bring up second down. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Now Breeze finding Kamara and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And the Saints first down. Well, again, they'll throw with Breeze. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Hey, he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Breeze to throw again. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A 
gain loss of three yards. Brings up fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. Open man is Michael Thomas. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, 37 yards. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken from about the 12. Oh, good-looking return set up here. Tyler Urban on the return. The Packers take over first and 10. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball to make a big play. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not wearing so much about guessing what the play call is. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing is Rodgers. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Rodgers going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard game. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. But it looked like a Packer. Yeah, a Packer was able to get this back, and they'll indeed keep possession. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Back now at Lambeau. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Throwing on second and long. Rodgers buying time to his left. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Able to find Lazard. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They get this out left. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Packers add on to their lead. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. Crosby with the extra point, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Now this will make it into the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. First and ten, here's Breeze. 
He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Uh, despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. To throw, it's Breeze. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. To throw is Breeze. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Saints. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brought down at the 18-yard line. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. Here's Breeze. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it third and one. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Saints move back within a couple of the lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll turn to Kamara. They're going to try and run for it. And he's going to get into the end zone. The two-point conversion successful. And we've got ourselves a tie football game. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They'd like to avoid overtime here, so maybe they can work the sidelines, but then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late. Rodgers to throw. He'll get this to Lazard. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Well, this has been all that we'd hoped for. Two of the game's all-time great QB slugging it out in a one-score game here in the second half. First and 10. And he's got Rome. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And they get the timeout called here. It comes with one second remaining on the clock. So the game here hangs on the right foot of Mason Crosby. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. For the field goal, a 35-yard attempt. And Crosby's kick is good. The veteran Mason. 
Mason Crosby comes through 